Hey, you having bear troubles? <laughs> Let's fix that. First off, you'll need ecumenical keys. You get these from the Wilderness God Wars dungeon, and you'll want gear you can risk with a few pieces of God gear like a holy symbol, so you don't get smacked up in the cave. Kinda treat it like normal God Wars. Don't forget to tell Yao I have a royal seed pod. Maybe bring some food and potions. It could take a while. If you're a psychopath, just get the kill count needed, and uh, I guess just fuck my guide, right? <laughs> just kidding. If not, grab a ring of dueling or use the minigame teleport to the Pharaoh's Enclove. Start here, follow this nice squiggly line I made for you, and you should be at the entrance. Go in and squeeze your way through. We'll be entering the main room, kill these creatures until you get a key. I tend to try and stick with the low levels, sometimes I'll smack a mage, as I still have yet to get the dragon boot drop, and it's killing me inside. Now, it's worth noting that the drop rate for these keys is slightly increased upon completion of the Hard Combat Achievement Diary, and slightly increases upon each tier completed thereon, which I think is kind of bullshit because it, it still took me 40 minutes. Alright, time for the setup. Bring your full crystal, your bofa, and adjust the rest of your gear accordingly, depending on what you have. And if you're on task, bring the Dam Slayer helmet. For god items, all you really need to bring is a Ceridoman piece and an Armadil piece. This is all I have, don't judge me, I'm trying. Look at my inventory, kind of base your trip around that. I do prefer sharks, crombons, a couple of shit brews, and some prey pots. This is not a sweaty guide, so don't expect me to have a sweaty setup. Make sure to bring a crossbow, a grapple, like a mithril, a gommel's hilt if you have one, if not just use a trollheim teleport, and your newly found key. This is not a super efficient setup, but it can guarantee at least a couple of kills if you're struggling to get one, or you just want to give it a go. It's what I use because it's what I got. Now I'm bringing Thralls. Blood spells are great if you want to stay longer, and I'd also highly recommend Bones to Peaches. I just can't be asked to do the damn diaries. Alright, time for the fight, big boy. So this is where my Gamos Hilt teleported me to. Go ahead and move the boulder or squeeze through that hole or something, I don't remember. You probably have the stats if you have a Bofa. You can light this fire pit after completing Making Friends with my arm, which will prevent the stat draining effect here. Highly recommended. I'm just lazy. Go down, then you're going to want to head south, and equip your grapple and your crossbow. Fire at the pillar, and you'll be on the other side. And then we just kind of walk uh, a little northwest here. Just follow my guy, and I'll see you at the door. Okay, pot up and get ready for the fight. We'll be protecting from range and standing in the southeast corner of the room. We want to be next to the wall. This way, Kriara won't be able to knock us back into it. Incredibly simple fight. Stand here and shoot bird. Summon Thralls if you got them. I try and keep around 40 to 45 HP as things can go south pretty quickly with this setup. You can expect a couple of kills a trip like this. I tend to range between 3 and 5, depending on my RNG. On task, I've hit around 9 or 10, but I was also using Blood Spells and the Slayer Helmet made it butter. I do almost die here. I'm semi AFKing on YouTube, which is not recommended, but I guess I just need external stimulation at all times. We only get 3 kills here. It is what it is. Again, do this however you want. It's not the most efficient way, but it is a way. It's the only way I can currently do it, so it's up to you. And if you really want to sweat on a point and click that's over two decades old, you do you. And that's about it. I'll sign off here and let you watch the rest of the kill. A lot of this guide was sped up because it's really not that deep. So good luck to you, and I'll see you next time.